talk about how you got locked up? Huh? Did we ever talk about when you got locked up? No, no, no. You don't want to talk about that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, this is American. You know, he was locked up for like, he did a bid. No, I did, I did not know that. Dane, you, you I didn't tell do everything, Dane. I didn't do a bid, bid, but yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> he was in there for like, <laughs> yeah, that's a bid. <laughs> that one, yeah, three months. Three months. That's a, year, that's a year. If you innocent, three months is a fucking <laughs> year. That's a bid. Time. I went on a, um, I went on a trip with a friend of mine to, to Georgia a long time ago. We were kids, basically. And um, he uh, he had uh, some marijuana in the back of his uh, trunk. He had not even a lot. I mean, it was personal use. It was less than an ounce. It was in his uh, speaker box. We get pulled over going into Georgia. I think we were in um, Lowndes County, Georgia was the name of that city or that town or whatever. Let me know. I'm staying out of there. Small, small town. Anyway, so yeah, crazy, right? So they pull us over and everything else. He forgets he has it in there. It's so old that it's dry rotted, I guess, you know? And uh, they searched the car. He actually, he, they said, can you search the car? This is long 90s, early 90s. I mean, he didn't know. He was like, oh yeah, yeah, whatever, go ahead. They found this dry rotted, <laughs> you know, bud in the back of the uh, the trunk. And uh, they took us down to the to the local, uh, what do you call that? The local police department, what do you call it? The local jailhouse, the county jail or whatever. And they kept us in there for three months waiting to go to trial. He had given the statement that this guy was just a friend of mine and passenger in the car and everything else. They kept us in there that whole time, two meals a day. Um, it's Florida, it's bacon it hot. Go ahead, get Rats in the ice shredder. Uh, it was toward, it, people were begging to get out of there just to go to prison, but it was a hell of an experience for me to be able to be around those people. I became like the leader in there, of course. Uh, dropping knowledge on people and, and getting people's minds right and everything else. And people, the hardcore, the hardest core criminals and, and, and stuff in there were like hating to see me leave, literally tearing up when I had to, when I got out of there. Obviously, they had to let me go because I didn't do nothing Three wrong. Three months? Three months. Three months. That's, just that's to go. order. That's what they do. It's, it's, a, it's a business. It's a business. It's a business. It almost feels like you just needed to experience every single thing for no reason just so that you could relate to the rest of the world. I already knew that. That's exactly what it was. I had been through that situation, which of course I was completely exonerated. I have no no criminal record at all. Matter of fact, I just got my my uh, concealed weapons license. But um, you know, I'm a team USA basketball coach, so there's no there's no record there. But being able to be around those people and experience them at that level and talk to them on the level that they were at and understand what they were going through, and then to be able to talk to them and take their mind to a whole other level. Some of those people looked me up when they got out of prison Change down in life. Miami. And we linked up again, and they were like, I did this, I did this, I changed my life here, I changed my life there. All from just me helping them find a way to look inside and elevate their consciousness. So it was wow. a great, people will look back at that experience in their life and be like, I can't believe this happened to me and cry about it and whine about it. I'm thankful for it because it gave me another perspective of life that I probably would have never seen. And it but gave me the ability to, ability to relate to people that have gone through that or been through that system on a level where I can directly talk to them and they understand I know exactly what's happened, how they feel felt about it. And also I can give them the step by step process on how to elevate themselves and not look and not even have to worry about ever going back. But that was you, a great experience, man. But do you see what our greatest teachers have to go through to teach? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's just like it's almost karmic. It's like you have to go through something. Even if you walk in a straight line, you still have to feel that diversity to see if you can face the challenge so people can learn from you. Right. It's all part yeah. of the game, yeah. but like the amount of pain this dude has to go through to breathe, like it's just normal for him. He be saying shit. I be like, this, this shit is crazy. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah, yeah. something else where the pain don't kill him. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? And that's another thing. Like you know, going to the dentist would be like going to hell for me. Yeah, for real, literally. <laughs> like that, I can't even think about. I hate going to the dentist with Novocaine. Like yeah. I literally walked into the office the other day of a dentist, and they were like, because they just did some work, and I was like. I'm not taking not even a Novocaine needle today. I'm just not mentally prepared for that. I couldn't even take the pain it took to numb me. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. He, like he can't get high or he doesn't get drunk. Like he just meant it's meant for this man to be focused, obviously. <laughs> you know, it's like amazing. <laughs> that shit is crazy. And it's, you know, it's not coincidence. It's like why? You know what I mean? Like, after I talk about him, I'll be like, where's the scrolls on you? You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck is going on? Translate some shit on your life. You know, um, I hear people saying your old soul, Billy Carson. And what I want to ask y'all,
by Compendium of the Emerald Tablets by Billy Carson.